guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. Today on Creative Glam I'm going to share with you my coffee table slash ottoman summer vignette. I'm also going to create a succulent centerpiece and the styling of a side table. This vignette I put together in my family room. This will probably be the last decor change in this area of my home before I transition to fall. While watching this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And be sure to leave a comment and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. As I was thinking about the way I'd like this vignette to look, I thought that it would be a nice idea to have my ottoman tray match my fireplace surround. I knew that I would eventually dismantle this and change everything out for a new season, so I decided to go over to Lowe's and I picked up two pieces of plexiglass. I had them cut the plexiglass to 18 by 24. I thought that was a pretty good sized tray. So here I am back from Lowe's and I'm removing the film that comes on each side of the plexiglass. So I have to do this four times removing the film off the plexiglass so you get that crystal clear look. So I love the versatility of this type of tray. So that's what I decided to go for. Um, again, I have not transitioned over to my fall look yet, uh, but make sure you come back. Make sure you guys come back and stay tuned for that. This video is in conjunction with a challenge, and this challenge is called the Summer Vignette Challenge, and it's being hosted by Cheryl of I Style My Style and Bree of Bree's Project Book. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check them out if you haven't already. And tell them Sharon of Creative Glam sent you. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating in this collaboration so that you can check out their videos as well. So here I am just measuring and preparing to cut the marble contact paper that I will need to adhere to one side of the plexiglass. So I'm going to use my Tim Holtz glass mat and cut the contact paper with an X-Acto knife. Okay, so I got the contact paper cut and adhered to the plexiglass. And here I'm just cleaning up the edges. Everything here, I shopped my home. Um, and this first vessel that you see, I believe it came from Home Goods. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it was Home Goods. And here I'm going to add some coffee table books. You all know that one. And you see my little guy, my little major, he uh, matches the carpet. And this is a planter pot on a stand uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby and I added a topiary ball, which I believe I also got from Hobby Lobby. And here I'm just adding my Joe Malone candle. And this little house I got from Target some time ago. It finds its way in most of my vignettes, whether it's in my kitchen, my dining room, or my family room. It tends to move around the house quite a bit. I have a couple of them, uh, but they move around quite often. It's that time of year where I slowly begin to bring out my pumpkins. So I'm gonna add this chrome glass pumpkin that I got from Pottery Barn. The only thing left to do is to add the handles to the tray. And these handles are the exact same handles that I used in my kitchen makeover. They're glass and chrome, and I got them from Wayfair. Gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I'm filling this shallow bowl with coffee beans to DIY a centerpiece. I enjoy creating DIYs with coffee beans because it gives me that rich espresso color which makes my decor pop and it smells good too.
Here I'm using cacti and succulents that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And because succulents are so seasonally versatile, they can be displayed season to season. And I really like that because I like that ode to the Southwest look. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. Other than the succulents, all the other decor items on the table, I already had. And so that's it guys. I love the way it looks. As I said earlier, this is the last decor change before fall. If you enjoyed this look and if you enjoyed this vignette, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on how I DIY beautiful and functional home decor in and around my home while on a budget. As well as shop with me's, cook with me's, greeting cards, travel and meal prep too. So make sure if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end to see more home decor, cook with me's, and shop with me's by Creative Glam. I want to thank iStyle, My Style, and Breeze Project Book for inviting me to participate today. Make sure you take a look in the description box to see the link to the playlist. 
And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.